Hi there, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for June the 17th, again, I want to invite you to join, and you'll have access to the VIP Club section here, and you see these tabs across the top here. These are all tools that will help you make your picks. Okay, so Major League Baseball is getting closer and closer to the All-Star break, and teams are really starting to separate from the pack. And we're going to look at some of the games for June the 17th. We'll take a look at five of them. The first one is, uh, let's see, not Cincinnati and Pittsburgh. The San Diego Padres and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies have the best record in the National League, but they have been struggling a bit lately, and losers of three out of their last four, and they are average down at the moment. But they still have a nine-game lead in the National League East. The Padres are coming on strong, burning hot, winners of five out of their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been um, involved in games over the line in 10 out of the last 12 games. And if we look at the score prediction, it's San Diego 3, Philadelphia 2, which would be, definitely be a game under the line. So uh, conflicting uh, views here. But the confidence in this prediction is only 53%. On the power ranks in this uh, indicator, due to the recent surge for the Padres, they were at zero. And look at they skyrocketed just over the last few days to 24. And the Phillies have fallen from 27 to uh, 18. Philadelphia is 27-10 and 10 at home on the season, and the Padres are solid on the road, though, at 19-14. and 14. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, the teams met earlier this season, Philadelphia winning all three in San Diego by a combined total of 22-10. to 10. So it was pretty much dominance for the Phillies the last time the two teams met. If you look at the stability factor, the Phillies are among the most stable teams in the league at plus 21. While San Diego is very inconsistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, they're just at plus three at the moment. Um, in the end, I like the Phillies. They have the best run differential in the National League at plus 103. I really like the Phillies at home, and I think this will be the game we're going to pass, though, on the over-under. The next game is Boston and Toronto. In this AL East battle, we can see Boston's coming in burning hot, winners of their last two, three out of their last four while Toronto has averaged down 3-3 three and three over the last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see over the line in uh, seven out of the last 12 games between the two teams. Um, the score prediction has Boston in a 9 nothing blowout, but take a little uh, caution with this prediction because the confidence is only at 42.6%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see how Boston is on the, on the strong upward trend right now, plus 27 while Toronto, they've been up and down. You can see they are now at plus nine. Let's see if the two teams have met yet this season. And no, surprisingly for a, a divisional matchup, the two teams have not yet met. And Rome's halfway through the season. Um, stability factor, both teams are moderately consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus eight and plus seven. Um, let's see, the Red Sox are above 500 at home which is uh, a good thing to compare the home and away records. And the Blue Jays are 16-15 uh, at home. So, actually, yeah, Boston, I said at home, Boston's on the road. So Boston is a solid uh, road team, and the Blue Jays are 16-15 at home. In the end, I like Boston to win this one on the road in a game over the line. The next one we want to look at is the New York Mets and the Texas Rangers. The Mets are coming on strong, burning hot, winners of four out of their last six. You can see they won the last two against Miami, while Texas is also burning hot winners of three out of their last four, and they're coming off of two very impressive wins on the road against the Dodgers. Um, the score prediction is for the Mets five, Texas four. Confidence in the prediction a little bit less than the toss of a coin at 48%. The teams have been trending in games under the line. Uh, four out of the last five games have been under the line. If we look at the power ranks indicator, strong upward trend for the Texas plus 5, all the way up to plus 29, and the Mets on the upward climb as well, up to plus 21. New York is 15 and 14 on the road, and surprisingly, Texas is a below 500 team at home. So neither, and neither team has been very uh, consistent regarding their favorite underdog status. And um, Texas is plus 3 in the run differential, and the Mets are minus 28. So in the end, I like this to be a Texas win at home, and I'm going to pass on the over-under. The Giants and the Cubs. Both teams are hovering around the 500 mark. The Giants average up winners of four out of their last six, 
while the Cubs are ice cold down just two and four over their last six. If you look at the over under uh, six, let's see, five out of the last 12 games have been over the line. So in general, there's been a 10 tendency for under the line scores with these two teams in their games. Uh, San Francisco is predicted to win in the score prediction seven to two. Confidence in the prediction, again, is rather low at only 50 percent. All these have been pretty low uh, so far, probably because there's still three games out at the time of this recording before the game time. Uh, San Francisco is plus 25 on the upward trend on the power ranks indicator, while the Cubs, you see, have plummeted from nine down to one. Head-to-head uh, -head wise, the teams have not yet met this season, so we don't have to really take that into consideration. Chicago is 18 and 13 at home. San Francisco is five games below 500 on the road. I really think that's going to be the difference here. I like the Cubs. Uh, yeah, I really, they play they play well at home, and I'm going to pass on the over/under. Now we got the Dodgers and the Rockies in this National League West battle. I, if I can consider it a battle, the Dodgers come in first in the division. The Rockies are dead last. Um, there's a huge disparity between the teams. The Dodgers are average down status at the moment, losers of three out of the last four. And ice cold down for the Rockies, they have lost four out of the last six. The score prediction, though, is for all Los Angeles, nine to three. Confidence in the prediction at 47%. Um, if we take a look here at the uh, power ranks indicator, you see the Dodgers are went from plus 23 down to plus 19, while Colorado has plummeted from 17 down to plus four. Take a look at the over under the teams that have been trading on opposite sides of the line. The Dodgers under in the last two, uh, the Rockies over in the last two. In the previous games, it was the Dodgers over and the Rockies under. So it's a little bit of an inconsistency as far as trying to place a bet on the over under, considering that scenario. Um, there's a huge disparity in the run differential. The Dodgers are plus 11 to minus 114. So run differential, you know, run difference of uh, what, 226. So it's a huge favor is in that regard to the Dodgers. Um, head to head, the teams did meet earlier this season. They played three games in Los Angeles with the Dodgers winning two out of the three games. But all the games have been low scoring. You see that uh, the most runs in any one game was four, and the losing teams only put up one, one, and zero in those three contests. So, in the end, though, I like the trend to continue with the Dodgers, and I like them to win this one and to take this one in a game under the line. And there you have it. Those are the five games we want to take a look at for today. Happy betting and see you next time.